service of your television provider. C-SPAN, created by cable. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Mrs. DeVos. Thanks for being with us and thanks for dropping into the office a few days ago. Thank you, um, Mrs. DeVos, there is a growing fear, I think, in this country that we are moving toward uh, what some would call an oligarchic form of society, uh, where a small number of very, very wealthy billionaires control, to a significant degree, our economic and political life. Um, would you be so kind as to tell us uh, how much money your family has contributed to the Republican Party over the years? Senator, first of all, thank you um, for that question. I'm, again, was pleased to meet you in your office uh, last week. Um, I wish I could give you that number. I don't know. I have heard the number was 200 million. Does that sound in the ballpark? Collectively, between yeah, over my the years, entire yes. family? That's, po that's possible. Okay. My question is, and I don't mean to be rude, but do you think if you are not a multi-billionaire, if you, a family, has not made hundreds of millions of dollars of contributions to the Republican Party that you would be sitting here today? Um, Senator, as a matter of fact, I do think that there would be that possibility. I've worked very hard on behalf of parents and, and children for the last almost 30 years to be a voice for parents and to um, voice for students and to empower parents to make decisions on behalf of their children, primarily low-income children. Thank you. Uh, in your statement, your prepared statement, you say, and I quote, students should make informed choices about what type of education they want to pursue post high school and have access to high quality options. Some of us believe that we should make public colleges and universities tuition free so that every young person in this country, regardless of income, does have that option. That's not the case today. Will you work with me and others to make public colleges and universities tuition free through federal and state efforts? Well, Senator, I think that's a really interesting idea and it's really great to consider and think about but I think we also have to consider the fact that there's nothing in life that's truly free somebody's going to pay for it oh, and so yes you're right and you're and right so somebody would, will pay for it but that takes us to another issue I think and it, that is if I may yeah. and that is right now we have proposals in front of us to substantially lower tax breaks for billionaires in this country while at the same time, low-income kids can't afford to go to college. Do you think that makes sense? Senator, I think if, if your question is really around how can we help college and higher education be more affordable for young people as they anticipate Actually, that wasn't my question. My question is, should we make public colleges and universities tuition-free so that every family in America, regardless of income, will have the ability to have their kids get a higher education. That was my question. Senator, I think, I think we, we can work together and we could work hard on making sure that college or higher education in some form is affordable for all young people that want to pursue it. And I would look forward to that opportunity if confirmed. Would you agree with me that if there is a mom watching this hearing who makes thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year, single mom perhaps, who has to pay ten or fifteen thousand dollars a year for childcare for her daughter? That that is a burden that is almost impossible uh, to deal with. Would what are your proposals about making childcare universal uh, for our working families? Do you have ideas on that? Do you agree with that idea? Uh, that that certainly is a burden, and while and I I can understand the. Uh, challenge that that family that young mother would face in deciding how to best serve her child's needs again I think if we're talking about the future of that child and their education I would look forward to working with you I know we have common ground on a lot of things and we could find ways to work together to ensure that that young mom's child will have a great opportunity for a great education in the future there are countries around the world which do provide universal, very inexpensive or free childcare. Would you work with me in moving our government in that direction? Senator, again, I, I feel very strongly about the importance of fa young families having an opportunity for good childcare for their children. 
Um, I'm not sure but that that's part of the education But it's not a question of an opportunity. Department. It's a question of being able to, very often my Republican friends talk about opportunity. But it's not a question of opportunity. It's a question of being able to afford it. How do we help somebody who's making eight or nine bucks an hour at a time when we can't raise the minimum wage here because of Republican opposition? How do we make sure that those moms can get quality child care that they can afford? Well, I would look forward to helping that mom get quality, a quality education for their child or their children so that they could look forward to a bright and hopeful future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator Sanders.